if I died, they would throw a party. That's what I told myself. If I died, my family would throw a party. They wouldn't have flowers. They would have beer and wine and all kinds of spirit. Like, that's what I convinced myself of. That nobody loved me. Nobody cared. But look at the way that they talk to you. Look at the way that they treat you. You stupid. You ugly. You're not as pretty as your sister. You're not as popular as your brother. Like all of these things that I told myself. That I wasn't worthy enough to live. I wasn't worth living. Nobody liked me. Nobody wanted to hang out with me. Nobody called me. Nobody checked in on me. Nobody saw my pain, you know, and and I realized that later, like, I didn't allow anybody to see that. I didn't allow people to see me hurting and to see me, um, you know, anything. So how can you check on something that you don't even know is there? How can I comfort you if I don't know you're hurting? How can I be there for you if you if I don't know, you know, and people just expect others to know like, well, if you know me, then you should know like, no, because you're good at hiding. You're good at faking it. You're good at playing. You're good at putting the mask on. You're good at putting the makeup on over the situation. Baby, you won't fleek with that. Like nobody can get to you. I can't even get to you. I have to peel off. 15 eyelashes just to see your real ones. Like I, I, I can't see the pain. I can't see the hurt because you're not allowing me to see it. And that is who I was 